Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Gold. Hey, how's it going? Oh, you finally evolved your Poliwag, eh? Uh, no. A Poliwrath will not evolve into a... <laughs> a frog Pokemon. You're thinking of Politoed. And that's a different Pokemon. Hey, how's it going? You gotta stay comical. Can't lose your cool. You lose all your money. Because you're a gambler. That's right. Oh. Well, what sort of prizes do you got? Anything worth... I don't really care for those. It's not like any of those are zap cannon or anything. Uh, what else do you got? Mr. Mime, Eevee, and a Porygon. I mean, Eevee's good. I mean, if you want, like, Espeon and stuff like that. Uh, nothing I really want, to be honest. I mean, yeah, I have 30 coins, and... The gamer corner here is pretty much the same as it was in... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Goldenrod City. I mean, the gambling game. I mean, the games are just the same. The slot machines. Yeah, picking out the cards. Uh, spending money on games and whatnot. Uh, not really. I'm not here to play slots. To be honest, I don't care for the slots. I rather spend my time talking to people, exploring, and seeing the changes, and then going after the gym. Oh. Thanks for giving me a coin. Or maybe it's more than one coin. Don't know, don't care. I don't plan on really playing the slots. But yeah, you can get a like a coin or so uh, from this one up. What to do? And then you can buy coins and stuff up there in case you uh, you have a sensation to gamble away your gold coins and whatnot. Eh, I guess. Huh, really? Nah, no, no, I'm I'm good. Thanks for the offer, but I am good. And now we actually have Surf to go across here, so let's see what this guy has to say. Really? Random Encounter? I do love the music for Random Encounters, though, too, I mean. Just listen to that. Cool music. I love it. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. I don't know, maybe your pond- No, I don't want to talk to you again. Ugh. Maybe your pond is polluted. You ever think of that? I mean, seriously? Maybe I can get across without a random encounter. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, how's it going? Why would you- uh, wh Why? Why would you look at the ground while walking? I, I guess. Very true, and if you can't get in there, you can't get it anywhere. Oh, maybe you should be a sales clerk. And where do you work, lady? Okay. Hey, how's it going? Part of the same chain as- yeah, apparently. We're animated at the same time. Sounds definitely like a plan, I guess. I mean, they could be the next malls. Like, have one mall here, and another mall over there, and they're the same exact mall. Is there anything I really want to buy, though? I, I guess... Um, nothing here, really. I'm already kind of stocked up. I mean, I, if they had four restores, that'd be another story, but... They don't. And you're not going to have anything I want, either. But hey, thanks for showing me your selection of wares. How's it going? Really? Oh, that's cool. I remember my dad encouraging me to play video games back in the day. Him and I would play like Super Mario World when I was like four years old, five, six, seven, you know, growing up and whatnot. My grandpa would play Donkey Kong Country with me back on the Super Nintendo. Oh man, those games were just like amazing. I mean, they still are amazing. I love those types of games. <laughs> huh? So, does the upgrade actually do something then? Which Pokemon should you use as TM on? No, I don't know. I'm just kind of talking to everybody. Nothing that I really could care to buy. Yeah. I guess you I mean, you could buy the Polka Doll and give it to a uh, copycat, I think. If you really wanted to. I think you can do that, anyways. I'm here to buy Surf Mail. Send to my girlfriend. Because it's awesome. But, you can't send mail without using a Pokemon or trading sequence. Why? 
Uh, I never care for the mail in Pokemon game. I mean, if I want to go talk to somebody, I'd grab my cell phone and give them a call. Or shoot them a text message. Because we live in a world of technology, why not? And here's the boost EV stats. I don't care for those either. I don't care about EVs and EV stats until, uh... Well, to be honest, the X and Y games. Everything else I just play for fun. I mean, I got a little competitive in X and Y, not gonna lie. A little bit, but not that much. It's just fun, being able to battle some random person online. And these are just vending machines, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, instead of going down all the stairs, let's just go and take the elevator all the way back down to the first floor. I mean, the mall is pretty much the same as it was in the first game. I mean, yeah, there's some people in here that say different things, and... Eh. Not much... Not much that's really interesting, I should say. And that's the girl that says that she gets dizzy. So... Uh, yeah, let's work our way down here now. We haven't been down here in this part of the city yet. They're holding up a eating contest at the restaurant? Oh. Yeah, I guess I'd feel fat too if I watched an eating contest, huh? How's it going? Ew. Oh. oh, sorry. I did not know you need concentration to eat during a contest. So I just starved yourself for three days and kind of just wolfed it down. I don't know, I've never been in an eating contest. I'm happy when I'm full too, but not when I'm working out. Because I don't want to be full when I'm working out. Huh. I guess so, huh? Gotta keep eating. I must keep eating. More! More! Oh. Oh. Of course you can. Ooh, and here we found some leftovers in the garbage. I'm gonna give that to my Snorlax once I catch it. Because I want a Snorlax. Hmm. Yeah, you can go that way if you really want to, I suppose. Yes, I do want to cut down this tree. Who's in the front of my party? Alright, I'm gonna have Ho-Oh be in the front of my party. Actually, oh. Actually, I should be training my uh, Pidgeot. That way I don't have to go grind him at the Pokemon League like crazy. You know, because I don't feel like doing that. And they're gonna be grass type Pokemon weak to flying types, so I'm gonna do that too. Flying and fire, anyways, whatever it goes. Are you a perverted old man outside the gym again? <laughs> yes, you are. Great. Okay, well, I'm gonna head on in. Hey, how's it going? Now you can see that this gym got a complete uh, makeover from the inside. Was it because Ash burned it down in like, the first season of Pokemon? Well, not technically his fault. Oh, yeah, it is. I mean, he didn't do it, though, but he still let the people in to do it. Because <laughs> he ain't very bright. Yeah, let's just use Gus. I don't know. Well, I, 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 just, I haven't seen the, the first season of Pokemon in, well, a long time. I mean, I've seen a few episodes a few weeks ago on Netflix, and I thought that was pretty cool and whatnot, but I haven't really uh, sat down and watched it from episode one and on. Because it just makes me go, man, this is nostalgia. How is he still ten years old? <laughs> like, seriously? I mean, my only, the only reason that I can actually stick around watching the newest Pokemon anime is because I just tell myself a year in the Pokemon world is like 10 years and hours. So you're living like a hundred, I mean a few hundred years old in our world just to get to like the age of 30 in their world. I mean, it, 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 it kind of makes sense if you look at it that way. I mean, for the anime only I'm talking about. Yeah, I know. It's just—it's a stupid idea. But hey, it makes it more bearable for me to watch if I think about it that way. You know. Ah, uh, this vile plume just had to poison me, huh? All right, Pidgeot, you can do it. I believe in you. That and you are their weakness, so it's kind of hard not to really believe in you and all. Go, oh, we defeated Joe and Zoe. Wait, why is a girl named Joe? Eh. I've seen a couple girls in my high school named Joe, I just don't see the appeal. I mean, I had to think what their parents were thinking when they were naming a girl Joe. I mean, out of all the names you could choose from, hmm, I don't know. I don't exactly get it, but hey, I don't have any kids to name either, so that's fine. Oh, 
Battles are scary. And why are you a Pokemon trainer inside of a gym? I, uh, it doesn't make any, uh, oh, whatever, fine. Executor, oh, that's not bad. 37, okay. I think I'll use Fly on your Executor, so I can hopefully take it out of one shot and get this battle over with. You know, I thought you were going to use Egg Bomb, because Egg Bomb would be a really good move to, <laughs> to use, you know? Ah, oh, that didn't just, okay. Well, you're a lot tougher than you look, Executor. That's fine. I'm mainly just trying to get Pajot like another level or two while I'm here. I mean, why not? I mean, you're pretty cool if Pajot can gain a level. Although I'm sure Erica's not going to be a pushover. Okay, yeah, she is. She's going to be a pushover. But to my Pajot, eh, probably not. Hey, how's it going? Well, if only girls are allowed in here, how come I just walked in through the front door and the guy, the, the, the greeter, he's a, he's a guy. I mean, he's not a girl. And how are guys be able to come in here and battle the gym leader if, you know, they, they're they not girls? That's not fair. No, no, that's not going to take it all bad. Of course we can come in there. She's just, uh, this girl is, uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> she doesn't like boys, because I guess we have cuties or something. Gosh, whoever came up with that was like, it was really dumb. And yes, I believed it when I was five years old. I was five! And six. And I was pretty gullible, too. Like, one of my friends told me that when, uh, like, when teachers, uh, like when we had summer vacation, teachers lived in a box. <laughs> and they would, uh, stay inside that box until school started again. And I went up to my, my teacher going, so... I, I know you're going to be in a box during summer vacation, uh, what, what kind of stickers can I get for your box? You know, like, I'll decorate it, so, like, be nice and cozy till we get back. And she looks at me going, really? Who told you that? I'm like, oh, so-and-so did. Oh. Uh, we're humans just like you are, we don't live in boxes, and she started laughing, and I was really embarrassed, and can't believe I believed that. I was six! Come on! Gosh. So mean, viewers. I know what you're thinking. Wait, do I? Okay, maybe not. I believed a lot of really stupid things when I was a kid. Yeah, but I've gotten a lot more intelligent over the years. I mean, I'd hope so, but... Ah, some people I see out there in the world, I just lose faith in humanity. Like, I die a little bit on the inside every time I see some of those people go around, and I'm just going, come on, use common sense. It's not that hard. If there are tons of cars going across the road and you want to jaywalk, why the heck would you walk slow as ever across the road that has a bunch of cars going 40 to 50 miles per hour on it? Why? Why can't you just wait two minutes till it's clear and then walk slow as dirt all the way across the road? Yeah, dirt doesn't walk. That's my point. It, like, seriously. I mean, and if you are going to jaywalk, how about you run so I don't have to slam on my brakes to yield to your stupid personality person and just because you're- Ah! It's stupid! I mean, do people think before they make actions sometimes? Like, oh my gosh. Just die a little bit on the inside every single time. Like, really? Ah, uh, then I get a good laugh out of it too, going, really? Dude. Did you really just do that? I mean, come on. <laughs> it's just so sad, it's funny. And not funny at the same time. How annoying that I lost! How could you lose? I mean, how could I lose to you? Hey Erica, how's it going? Oh, this is lovely weather, actually. And even where I live right now, today's a really good day. It made me want to go, uh... I mean, days like this, where it's like... A little bit cloudy, and you can see the blue sky. Okay, technically the sky is clear, but you know, it's a really good day. It's warm, and the grass is really green, and it's really cool. It makes me want to go and film fight scenes for my Final Confrontation movie, but I'm done with filming on that movie, so that ain't gonna happen. But there's other stuff I want to do outside. Tangle, uh-huh. Okay. As long as you don't use a paralyzed wrap all the time, then I am pretty cool. I mean, I'm okay with it. Oh, sleep powder. Man, I, I would not want to get hit by that. That would be pretty miserable, if I say so myself. 
and you use it again, but that doesn't affect Pajoto. So ha! Sucks for you, Tangela. Have you seen? I mean, have you ever seen Tangela's final evolved form? It's really uh, <laughs> it's it's weird. <laughs> I mean, it's what you'd expect from Tangela, but still, it's pretty out there, you know. <laughs> That's all right. I'm surprised why Pidgeot's doing uh, decently well in this battle. I mean, then again, I thought her levels would be a little higher considering she's after Lieutenant's, Lieutenant Surge and whatnot, and can't exactly say I want to be battling the next gym leader. I don't think I'll be doing that in the next episode. But we are going to be making some progress here. And like I mentioned before, it's not going to take very long to clear, to clear the Kanto region. It's going to take me a long time to... Do a little more level grinding before going and facing uh, the final Pokemon trainer, well, master, that we go up against in this game. Oh no, not Sunny Day. Sunny Day means she doesn't have to charge for a solar beam. And that would be pretty bad. Come on! Oh! Okay, she didn't use solar beam, but she can still poison me. Okay, good. She didn't poison me after all. Oh, seriously? Come on, it's not cool. I mean, I do it too, but it's not cool when you do it. Nah, that's all right. As long as she doesn't try using Solar Beam, I should be able to. Be, I'll, I'll be fine as long as my Pidgeot, my Pidgeot knocks her out. I mean, I'll be good. Kind of, I hope. Not really. No, no I'll be fine. Come on, we got this. There we go. Good job, Pidgeot. I wouldn't expect anything less from you but the best of the best. That was a good movie. The sequels... Uh, I don't know what the hell they were thinking about the sequels. I mean, how do you make a first movie so good and you just screw up the sequel so bad? Like, I understand it's hard to make a sequel better than the first one, but you really have to have the passion and tension and... Like... You, you gotta have that love to make it better. It just feels like they threw it out there in cash cow. I'm like, did you think about the story? Best of the best is where they train, they go to like this martial arts Olympics, and they kick some butt, right? It, it, it's awesome. But no, oh, no, the second one, I mean, eh, it's, eh, it's alright. I mean, it's not good, but it's not bad. But, oh man, the third one! Oh, don't get me started. It's, no. I, I mean, if you haven't seen Best for the Best, then here's a good example I'll give to you. Pirates of the Caribbean. First one's great. Second one's eh. And the third one is eh. <laughs> oh man. What do people think when they write movie scripts these days? Oh, you want to hear about another bad movie? Huh? How about Home Alone 3? <laughs> oh yeah, the first two Home Alone movies were a blast. They were great. I mean, I can watch them now and I'll still enjoy them to some extent, but oh man, I, I can't watch the third one and enjoy it to any extent. As a kid, I had my hopes up. And even as a, when I was a kid, I didn't even like it either. I mean, today I can really explain how I don't like it, but oh man, back then. <laughs> man, I'm surprised I beat that whole gym with just Pidgeot. Nice. Good job, Pidgeot. You're, you're doing great. And I should organize my team according to levels, so I can see where we're all at easier. Alright. I have been also working on my test run for Tales of Symphonia, because once I complete the game, I'll be using my Game Plus data to do a Let's Play on it, so my stats are where I like it, and I have the moves I want to. I mean, the only difference I'll have some moves that you're not supposed to have until... I mean, that you'll have later, they don't have to really re-earn, you'll just get according to level, obviously. And then your stats will be higher according to the titles you carry over and stuff like that, that you carried over with Grey, too. Well, Grey in that game you could buy... Oh, you can get stuff for your post-game or customizations in, within that same game and whatnot, it's really cool. And I'll be doing... Oh, did I? I missed the building here, didn't I? I... I did. Okay, before I end the episode, let's go explore this building. Lots of Pokemon, huh? I'm sure they do. Aw, Meowth yeah, even brings money home. I wish I had a animal that would bring money home. So 
So nothing in this room. Okay. And here's where if you got all 150 Pokemon in the first game, uh, they would give you like a certificate. Yo, yeah, it's really tough, but I won't give up, trust me. No, I really don't care. I'm not gonna play the slots. I'm good. No, I'm glad you love them. You're a graphics artist. Oh! Well, you did a good job drawing me. Good job, buddy. I look pretty good. It reminds me of that uh, director's room in Final Fantasy IV, where, like, and they even had it in the after years, where uh, you go around and you talk to all the video game directors and what they put in the game and everything, and it was pretty cool. Ah, oh, I don't have my bike equipped. Ah, this episode's going on too long, but I want to go to the back of that building before I end the episode. I guess we can go for like one more minute. It'll be a little longer than usual. I just want to get some progress done. All right, Let's see what's in here. Do I get an Eevee? No, I did in the first game. Not scared of all the lights outside. Come back after sunset. So you're telling me when I should record my video to come back to? No, I'm good. I don't care. I mean, I doubt your story is scary. I mean, I could tell a scary story, and even then, I want to be that scary because with all the rehashed horror movies that you see all the time, like they're, they just rehash it. They cash cow horror movies way too much these days, but. Oh, at least they did. I'm not sure if they're still doing it. They probably are. Anyways, um, I'm going to end the episode here, and next time we'll explore more of Kanto and see where to go, and aim to get, their, get our next gym badge or go fix the power plant problem or do something. So that being said, have a great day.